Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and I wanted to talk about Arm Rate 21 real quick. For those of you who may know, I know I'm a little bit late. I did not find out till this morning, but Arm Rate 21 passed away. He's an OG YouTuber that did some video game reviews, Let's Plays, and all this stuff. Uh, I mean, he inspired me to get started in the summer 2007. Someone on the MSN group that I created back then posted a video saying, could this be the worst game ever made? Check out this hilarious video. And it was Games That Suck, Big Rigs Over the Row Racing. That was his series that Arm 821 did where he reviewed Games That Suck. And I watched Over the Row Racing, his review of it, over and over again. It made me laugh. I binge watched his channel. And he's the reason why I created a YouTube account. So I can subscribe to his channel, comment, rate, favorite, and eventually get started doing my own content on YouTube. And so I found out this morning, for those of you who remember my good friend Tibbs, who uh, did commentary with me on this 2K channel and a little bit on the Ron Moore channel as well. He texted me and told me that. And I looked it up and the Armake Archive channel announced it, that he had passed away. And that shocked me. And I had not heard about this guy really in years. I haven't watched his content in years. I think he changed his content, had a new channel, whatever. But I never spoke to the man, never interacted with him. So I'm not that effect affected by it that bad. Like if someone like a J-Man or a Wee Guy or a Mega Dan or a Bushido Blade Warrior or someone were to pass away, God forbid, soon, that would really bother me. That, that would hit me hard. You know, the close YouTube friends I interact with today, like if one of them were to pass, that would hit me hard. But Arm 21 was not someone that I was mostly connected to. But he was someone who really helped me through a hard time. In the summer 2007, his videos entertained me. He was one of the OGs of YouTube with his Let's Plays, his video game reviews. He didn't do much editing. It was mainly just record videos, hit record, record footage, record commentary, and boom. And I said, man, I, I can do that too. I, I really want to do something like this. I want to do something like this, but how? And I had to look up ways to record with Movie Maker at the time, Cam Studio, how to use a microphone, how to do better audio quality or whatever. And I, here I am 15 years later still doing this. And... Man, he inspired a lot of people, I believe, to do YouTube content, gaming related. My style of videos is much different from his. My style of humor is different from his. But he inspired me to do content on YouTube, and I'm still doing YouTube stuff to this day. So you can really credit him for me getting started on YouTube. I watched his stuff. It helped me through a dark time. And I said, I want to do this. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping that he had a great last few years of his life. Uh, and I had heard that, um, I, I believe he had bought a house or he was doing things in life. And this is what I heard now. I don't know how much of it is true. I didn't keep up with this stuff on social media or anything. But and you can't always believe what you hear on social media anyway. But I would like to think the last few years of his life was peaceful because he had some very controversial years early in his YouTube career. And uh, where he might not have handled things correctly, but at the same time, the guy was very entertaining, to say the least. And he inspired me to get started on YouTube. And again, he helped me get through a hard time in the summer 2007. His videos were that entertaining. I just want to do a quick video real quick, a, a quick tribute. Uh, and say rest in peace, Armake. Thank you very much for the memories, for making us laugh so hard. His rant about video game piracy was one of the favorite, probably his top favorite videos, or probably a lot of people's favorite. Um, I think I can't word it right. I'm trying. I'm tired. About to go to bed. I just want to slap this together last minute. But his video game piracy rant was hilarious. His uh, big rigs over the road racing review was hilarious. Predator for the NES that was hilarious too, and just uh, man. He did a lot of great stuff that would make you laugh so hard. He was a great content creator back in the OG days of YouTube. Rest in peace, Armake. Thank you very much for the memories. My heart goes out to the friends and family of Armake21. All right, guys, that is it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.